everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a star shaker Christmas card. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the star shaker thin cut set and the Merry Christmas sentiment from Seasonal Borders, Sunbeam holographic papers, some of the wood grain papers, some of the mix-ins, regular cardstock, and comfort and joy pattern papers. Okay, so I'm gonna be using pattern number 17 from Make It From Your Heart volume four. And I'm pretty much following this pattern exact. So I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment on cardstock. So I'm tapping it with the anti-static powder pouch and then I'm going to stamp out my sentiment in Versamark ink. And then I'm going to sprinkle gold embossing powder on top of this. Versamark is a sticky ink that embossing powder will stick to. So you just sprinkle powder on there and tap it off. And then I'm going to heat it up with my heat tool. So I sped this up pretty quickly. And you can watch the powder melt. Okay, so now I'm ready to start die cutting. So I'm gonna bring my Big Shot in. And I'm gonna cut out my sentiment. And this little die that I'm using to cut it out is from the uh, Poinsettia uh, set from Comfort and Joy. It's the scrapbooking stamp and thin cut set and it just happens to fit this sentiment perfectly. So I'm cutting out my sentiment and then I'm going to cut my star out using the background uh, star shape and I'm going to use some of the Comfort and Joy pattern papers to back up my shaker. And then I'll cut out the frame of my shaker using the Sunbeam holographic paper. So I'll run that through. And then I've got all my die cutting done. Okay, so I'll get the big shot out of the way. And I've cut all of my pieces down according to the pattern. So my background is going to be the wood grain papers. And then I've got each of the A, B, and C, and D shapes uh, cut according to the pattern. And the basic, that green stripe piece is from the mix-ins. And then I've got my, I'm laying everything out. And I'm looking at that sentiment. And I'm not happy with it. So... I embossed it again on black cardstock instead of scarlet so that the gold would pop better and I like that better. Okay, let's build our shaker. So I've got the shaker windows. It's in the shape of the star and it's got some um, protective coating. So I've just kind of started it with my fingernail and now I'm going to push out the center portion of my uh, shaker frame. And in the center, there are extra bits of uh, foam that you can use on other projects. So I'm gonna lay my star down onto that background piece that I cut. And mind you, it is very fiddly, um, but you can force it and stretch it and make it work. So that's kind of what I did. I worked with it and I finally got it to lay down the way I wanted it. And then you just peel off that protective coating and expose the sticky. And then I've got some of these uh, star confetti bits to go in the middle. They're little teensy tiny stars in gold. And then I'm going to take the acetate piece and just lay it on top. And then once you get it all pressed down, you're ready to take that protective coating piece off. So you just peel it off. And I decided to use some of this skinny score tape. It's an eighth of an inch to uh, tack down my star. I could have used Tombow, but that's just a smidge too wide for this. And so I went ahead and decided to use the eighth of an inch uh, score tape as an adhesive. And then I'm ready to lay that down on top of everything. And if you have any mistakes, and I did, um, the, once you lay this top star down, it just kind of hides everything. Okay, my shaker's all ready to go, and now I'm ready to start building my card. 
So I've got my card base and it's going to be a side fold A2 card and portrait. And I'm just going to tack everything down using Tombow tape. And since my shaker adds quite a bit of dimension to this card, that's going to be the only thing that's going to be popped. I'm going to go ahead and lay all of these layers of card uh, pattern paper down uh, direct with Tombow. So I'm just following the pattern. It's a quarter of an inch in, quarter of an inch down, and this piece. And I'm using the measurements on my um, Versa mat to place my pieces down. And I'm not being exact, but it is a guide to kind of help you put things in the right place according to the pattern that's in the Make It From Your Heart book. Got that down and then I've added um, the strip of patterned scarlet paper. And then I'll put my sentiment on top of that. And then I went to put Tombow on the back of my star and it, it just wasn't running. Um, easily so I went ahead and added score tape to, to the back of my star to attach that to my card front as well. I'm staying away from liquid glue with this because liquid glue can kind of be messy when you're using the holographic paper so it just works better with double-sided tape or tape runner. So I'm attaching that to my card front and I'm being mindful to leave enough room for my sentiment and then I'm using some of that um, extra foam tape from the center of the star to pop my sentiment at the same level as my star. And then part of it's going to um, go over the edge and so I'm just attaching that with a glue dot. I'm going to slide a glue dot underneath there. And that's it. I'm going to make the focus all the shaker and the goodness inside it, all those little stars. And so here's some close-ups. So all these supplies are currently available in my online store. Comfort and Joy is only available until the end of October. So if you're interested in this pattern paper pack, you should get on it pretty quick. And I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.